Hi. In this video, I'm going to give you a really brief introduction to the general form of a linear equation. So we've seen the slope-intercept form of a linear equation, and we've seen slope-point form of a linear equation. And both of these are useful for, for particular things. Um, and now we're going to look at the general form of a linear equation. Um, this is also useful for several different things, and in particular it's good if you want to know the intercepts, the x and y intercepts of your equation, this is a really useful way to, a useful form for that. Um, so there's some rules for what makes a uh, general form. So we have to have ax plus by plus c equals zero. And a, b, and c, these all have to be integers. And a also has to be non-negative. So a could be zero, but it can't be negative four, for example. Okay, some examples of things that are general form. If we have 3x minus 3y plus 5 equals 0, this is general form, even though instead of adding here I'm subtracting, just because this is the same as 3x plus negative 3y plus 5. So here my a is, sorry, capital A is 3, b is negative 3, and c is 5. Um, in this case here, this is another example of general form. We have 12x minus 1 equals 0. zero. This looks quite different uh, because it doesn't have a, a y term. So here the a value is 12. The b value, that's the coefficient on y, so how many, b, how many y's do we have? And here we haven't got any y's, so b is equal to 0 and c is equal to negative 1. Okay, so these are both examples of equations in general form. Um, here are some non-examples. So these are perfectly good equations, but they're just not general form. Um, so here, with negative 3x plus 8y minus 3 equals 0, the problem here is that a has to be non-negative, so that means positive or 0. A is here. The problem is that a is negative. should be positive, usually, or it could be zero. Um, here's another example. Uh, x plus 4y plus 0 0.5 equals zero. So our a value is 1, because we have 1x, so that's okay. b value is 4. And the problem is c. That c is uh, not an integer. Okay, um, so remember for general form, a, b, and a, x plus b, y plus c equals zero. All of these have to be whole, uh, integers, and a also has to be positive. Okay, good luck.